Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Survival Island. Today, we are going to be working on that chicken farm. That's right. It's time. So, let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Today is the day. We went to the nether last episode. We've gotten some nether quartz. It is time to build the chicken farm, and I've got the materials in that chest right there. But first, first things first, we need to do a little bit of a tour, okay? So I've got something marked over here that we're going to be getting to in the next episode. Let's see if you can figure out what this is going to be. Any ideas? Put your guesses in the comment section down below to figure out what that might be. Okay. And and yeah, that's I'm going to leave it at that. All right. And then let's go over here. I have done a little bit of, oh, well, actually a lot. I've done a lot of mining and some caving. And, uh, well, we've gotten some treasure, so let me just show you what's going on there. Not in there. Let's do this. Let's grab maybe a diamond. And we're going to get this music disc here. And then let's get some wood like that. And we'll just do this. And this? Yes, jukebox. Okay, so we can, we can make a jukebox. It's the first time we've done this in this world, so, you know. We're going to be working over here. Let's have some music going, shall we? 13 is not really the best. But, you know what? It'll suffice. Okay. You, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. It's No, that's just too bad. we got to get some other music discs. So let's just put this back. Um, yeah, anyway. I've, I've done some caving. And I found... Well, I was doing some mining. And then I found a cave system decided to go light it up and I found another skeleton spawner I'm not gonna do anything with that skeleton spawner but I found some beetroot seeds so we've got beets now or beetroot yeah so that means we're expanding our crops here and we can make this one a little bit larger let's do like so and from there I don't know I'm beets aren't really the I don't know. I've, I've never messed with beetroots or anything like that. So I don't know what the recipe is. I know there's a soup for it. This is something they added in 1.9. Now we're now in 1.10. Let's just put this over here with the other stuff like so. And we'll get our... No, we'll leave the door open. Let's get our materials for today's project. We've got a couple of dispensers. Lava bucket. we got some redstone... Uh, some smooth stone, nether quartz, redstone torches. Yeah, I think I think we're going to be pretty good here. And we'll get that chest. And I've already prepared the area as well. But we need to make the comparator. All of that, all of that lead up, just so we could make one comparator. That's right. That's what this is all about here in Survival Island. Yes. We're, we're about ready. We're about ready for this. Are you ready? Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to be using the Zuma Void uh, 1.9 version of the chicken farm. We need, what, 3 by 6 So what, 1... This is 3. Okay, that's good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Counting with soap. I think maybe I'll put it right there. Okay. And then, pretty simple. Do that. And did we get a slab? No, we need a slab. I forgot that piece. We need to make one. Do we have any over here? Slabs? We got cobblestone slabs, but since I've already got smooth stone, we might as well do that, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, smooth stone slab. It's going to look a little bit better. All right, like so. And then what we do, this is the fun part. We're just going to put this here, and then we'll start these dispensers right like so, and like so. Okay, and we can bring that smooth stone back 
Okay, now the bottom one is going to be where the eggs feed into from the chickens. So we're going to have the chickens on top of that hopper. And then the top one is going to be where the lava sits. We're not going to put that in quite yet. It's going to be the last thing we put in. Why do you do that? But because the possibility of an accident is pretty, uh, well, high up there. Okay, so we are going to be extra careful. You know what? We should probably throw some more of this in to get smelted. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, and we'll put this up here with the rest of it, right like that. Okay, and we'll maybe get some, some stone brick, yeah, maybe a little bit more. There we go. Okay, the reason we're gonna do stone brick is because we're messing with lava, and lava has the tendency to burn things especially when your entire base is made of wood. So we need to be extra careful. All right, so that's why we're doing that. What we're gonna do now is get our comparator. We're gonna read that signal off like that. And then we'll get, you notice how that, listen to this. Okay, so we we'll grab that. I place the block there, you hear the sound? Place the block here, no sound. I don't know if that's in the bug tracker. I may have mentioned it here before, but um, yeah, anyway, it's, it's a little bit annoying. What we're gonna do now is make a bit of a burnout clock. Hopefully I remember how to do this. Okay, and that's gonna go like that. And then we put a piece of, or a redstone torch there, and then we'll do that. And then we'll do that. Okay, so that's a burnout clock. And then what we should find is we can put this here. No, not that. We'll get the cobblestone later. Let's get the stone brick, right, like so. We'll put that there, and we'll see. Okay, good. We should have gotten... Let's put a stone slab here, and then we'll just throw... Yeah, okay, so it should be doing it. Uh, let's put the lava bucket in there like so. Good, okay, so that's doing what it should. What's gonna happen is that as the chickens lay eggs, they once those eggs go through into the bottom dispenser, uh, we're gonna get a signal off the comparator. It's gonna go into that block, which is gonna turn off that redstone torch for just a little bit, which is gonna depower this redstone dust right here, allowing that burnout clock to run, which is gonna fire this redstone, powers the block below it, which also happens to power the bottom dispenser shooting the egg, and then this top redstone will power a couple of times, and, and that'll double power this top dispenser. And as long as we're not loading, unloading chunks at the same time, we've got eggs going through, we should be fine. Famous last words, huh? So let's go in here. We're going to grab some of these, these cobblestone slabs. The reason why we're doing that is to keep with the overall design aesthetic. Should be good. Maybe a little bit more stone stone brick action right there and there okay nighttime is upon us but shouldn't be a problem since we are rather safe on our island here we do need to put a protective covering over these guys because uh, I don't want them getting out and there's one more piece to do and that is carpet right like so to keep them from glitching in and out of that hopper. Let's come over here, get rid of night. Even though it's not that big of a deal, then what we'll do is fill the inventory with eggs and see how many chickens we can get. So let's do that. We're done with the redstone. And I guess all of that goes in there. And we'll put our wood items there. Should be good. 
Good go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's let's grab these eggs and these. We should. Yeah, that'll be fine. Is there anything else we can get rid of? Nah, we'll we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So I can't quite. Yeah, there we go. I can get up to that, and we'll see if we get there. We're okay, so we got a chicken. There's should be better ways of getting chickens. No, that that worked. Okay, so we're up to three. We want to make sure that we're pretty well food secure. Now, there is a long-term problem here. Do you know what that is? I potentially want to do a peaceful mob farm in the future. And these guys are in the spawn chunk. So this is going to be a short-term short -term deal. We'll, we'll have to figure something else out. But... But yeah, so I'm going to keep filling this up with chickens. We're going to get about 20 or so. I think that'll be good and should be fine in terms of producing enough chicken so that we can build up our food stores. All right, so I'll fill this up and I'll bring you back once we're ready to go. Okay, so taking a look at the F3 screen here, if you look up at the E symbol, I think, yeah, we're, we're capturing the mouse cursor here. If you look up here, you see that there's 20 on the top number for E. E means entity, so there are total about 53, 54 entities total in the world. It's going up and down based on mob spawning and all that, but 20 is mobs are entities that are in the direction you're looking. So we've got 20 and the only way that I'm looking right now is up and to the sky. And the only thing in the way right there is the chickens. And so we've got 20 chickens in there. So what we're gonna do now is just throw some of these in here. Oh, that's, that's gonna be a problem. So we've got some eggs in here. Okay, so that's a problem. If we get too many eggs at once, it might be, yeah, it might be problematic. Yep, it'll be problematic if we get too many. So this is going to be uh, probably not, not exactly ideal because we got that burnout clock we got to watch out for. Okay, that didn't work. So just a couple. So we'll occasionally get some eggs. Okay, that should be fine. Do we have any chickens here? We've got a few. Okay, so now what we need to do is, um, you know, I'm gonna load up some more of eggs into the dispenser below here. And then what we'll do, well, I'm gonna put this design over this build right here and then um, we'll let the chickens grow up and I'll bring you back once we're starting to get some some meat collection going all right well that was the first let's see yes we now have cooked chicken and the next time one lays an egg back there, we're going to have a few more that give up the ghost. So anyway, we've got we've got automatic chicken coming in. This is great. That means that our main quest. Yeah, let's take a look. How much are we going to get out of that one? We got ten now. Not too shabby. Well. That means that we are, uh, we've completed our main quest, right? So our goal was to get an automatic chicken cooker going so we can escape the island. What else do we have left? Well, there might be some other things that we need to do, but this episode, it's all about the chicken farm. So we're going to say adieu for now. I am going to get ready for the next adventure for next episode 
And while I'm doing that, I'll probably go AFK so that we can get a lot more. Because 10? I don't know. That's, that's not the best. And what are we up to? 14? Yeah, it's going to take a while. So we'll let that just fill up a little bit. And then hopefully we can grab a stack here and there. And then eventually go on our adventure. But for now... Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you are up to date with everything going on on the channel. But that's going to be it for now. We've got our chicken farm going. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.